Hi guys, welcome to your bi-weeklies and just give me a minute to a minute and a half for just a quick intro. First of all, I want to thank you Feedspot for basically giving Cat Terra such a great honor. Being in top 50 on the entire basically uh, YouTube is like absolutely stunning. It is amazing. And thank you, thank you, thank you. So I really appreciate it. However, I actually should thank more to all of you, my users, because without you, this just wouldn't happen. So it really kind of like makes me feel great. And I, again, want to thank you for... I actually want to uh, invite you to join my Facebook pages if you haven't already. Uh, I actually am considering to post some different readings on that platform as you know otherwise people say it's not good to put all eggs in one basket so it's going to be a free reading contest for all of you who join and also for all of you who already joined who are actually sharing the content so there is some kind of incentive i just want to spend a few more words just to let you know that you know how this really works this is only me and i am doing all this video so if you just do the count they're like 36 videos so multiply this by four and the time that is being spent on these videos and you will see how much time I actually donate to you every month. If you calculate, it's going to be about 60 hours. So I am not asking for any accolades or anything. I'm just telling you this is like the time that is basically taken away from my family, from my friends and mostly from me. And I also need some time off for myself as I'm just a human, just as everybody else. And I'm leaving the best for the end, right? So again, for all of your supporters, for all of you who are my clients, for all of you who are sending me private emails and of encouragement, of warm wishes, I cannot tell you how appreciated that is. That actually means a lot to me. And each comment left on a website is also very meaningful. In spite of all these hours, I still every day spend time reading it and each time I bookmark with my cat, like if after reading the comment. So thank you very much. And without further ado, let's jump right into your bye week, please. I cannot wait for this Mercury retrograde to finish. This is now today, so hopefully these are the last technical difficulties. So Capricorn, let's jump into your reading. Woo, bottom of the deck. Ten of Swords reversed and four of swords. Ooh, magician reversed. And then yet another ten. Okay, so I'm kind of like getting a message here that there is like some kind of healing happening, the worst is over, that maybe you were kind of taking some time off. Maybe somebody just gave you a big story, kind of like big plan where, you know, none of that was true, kind of like sales pitch kind of a thing. So let's keep jumping in. King of Cups reversed. Again, this is very much like the Magician Reverse that I saw there. Magician Reverse is like literally like a salesperson who keeps telling you literally that product cannot do wrong, right? It's pff, way too good to be true. No, 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 but truly, truly, this product is too good, that, that good, right? Or the person is literally not seeing, not seeing, not able to see kind of very narcissistic maybe that you have been dealing with. And this person here is like even well, reversed, like in the upright situation, King of Cups is my favorite king. It's the person who listens to you and also understands you. The person who is there, like when you fall, and even if, if it's your fault, they're still going to hug you and kind of like they'll still be there for you. Um, kind of like a true friend and somebody who is really helping, really, really pragmatically helping, kind of like hands on helping. Now, this person here is a person who will be telling you they're helping you but they'll be just thinking while they're saying you oh, I'm here for you all they will be thinking is oh geez how do I take advantage of the situation this also because of that reason talks about addictions because when people are kind of addicted they're kind of like a driven throughout something that cannot control so this could be alcohol it could be anything drugs gaming work hobbies you name it so there are some kind of secrets. The moon generally brings some kind of shadows and secrets to the surface. And here is this talk 
talking about some kind of a uh, process, possibly strategizing, possibly about, you know, something that has been going on for a while. I would say in the last, I would say nine weeks, there was maybe something that has been going up and down and up and down. And maybe you had a few kind of like points when you really wanted to give up. And this is saying, well, you know what, I'm not giving up. And I'm not even continuing, but I'm going to give it one more chance and see what happens. So this is something in the past, talking about the family, talking about the unity, talking about home, talking about happiness. And here, uh, what is crowding you is like you want to go in a new direction and, and kind of like you're choosing your path. You're really not jumping in it yet, right? You're not embracing it, but it's a rather that you are kind of like making partial success. You're kind of like strategizing how to go about it and, you know, how, you know, like, I mean, which, which old things you're going to pick. You see, like, this one of these ones is kind of like bolted over here. Another one is kind of free. So it's kind of like a choice between the two things. So something old, something new kind of a thing. And the near future, hmm. Queen of Pentacles. This is you guys. This is a card of a spouse. Something is upside down. What happened to your spouse? Is something happening to you? But this is kind of interesting. I don't know which other sign had it. Like kind of like it is obviously you're building some kind of stability. You're kind of building some kind of, you know, um, new sense of who you are where you want to go the emperor is always talking about control talks about the stability but in relationships in in thoughts about relationships emperor emperor always talks about kind of like is there a balance in this relationship really what kind of person you want to be are you giving more are you taking more so if if you're giving more you have to ask yourself if your needs are actually served in this relationship if you are basically taking more you kind of have to wonder if you are creating some kind of uh, resentment and imbalance now this being in your thoughts is telling me looks like there was some kind of turmoil in the family life because this is just obviously going over it i don't know maybe some of you have some addiction issues and dealing with something so let's see what is in your environment hmm three of cups honestly i really don't like this card because cats and grapes this is toxic to them so this card generally is supposed to talk about joy and celebration and friendship and <laughs> we can think of oh my gosh this poor pussy kids are going to get poisoned right because it let's let's go with its traditional meaning let's not kind of like go with a big big kind of flop that the creator made over here because just all I can think of is like, no, don't do that. But I don't think this is the meaning of the card. The meaning of the card here is saying that you might actually have some kind of, because here is saying there's going to be some unexpected kind of like thing happening and maybe something took you by surprise, but kind of like you're continuing. It's, you know, some people don't like surprises and also looks like kind of there were issues in the life that life kind of like beat you down and it was kind of like really hard to kind of like dust off. But you said, mm, that's it, I'm dusting off and I'm continuing. Yes, I do know that my time is also precious and what I'm investing in this relationship is precious and I'm going to do one more try. And it looks like you're doing this by actually some understanding that you have to stabilize yourself as well in this whole situation. So it is a good time that you're going to have some really lucky breaks in here. And there we go again, Mr. Goat Capricorn. Like this is hopes and fears and it's like talking about some kind of testing. This is talking about some moving forward. Nine of Pentacles is, first of all, like you have like, look at this, across the board you have Pentacles. So obviously you're kind of like coming to yourself. You're coming on this kind of like pedestal, which is really, really good. Balancing and stabilizing, I mean, always welcome, right? But Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's acting really carefully, 
right? Somebody who uh, who is also dealing with physical world and resources and finances, right? So it is kind of like that slow progress going forward. It looks like kind of like maybe it was you, maybe your your world turned upside down. Maybe there are issues, but it looks like you're dusting yourself off and continuing. So let's see the potential outcome. Again, pentacles. Yeah, guys, if you're doing something and you're doing it carefully, just pay really attention to the details. This is a card of workmanship, and this is saying that not paying details, not paying attention to the details could be very costly for you, right? Because this is requiring really, really particular kind of like workmanship. And if it is a sloppy workmanship, things can maybe go sideways. So be very, very careful, especially if you started some financial dealings during this Mercury retrograde, so in the past, like, I'm in 30-something dates. So let's clarify a few things, because this, you have the two major canons, Moon and the Emperor. So I really want to know here, first of all, let's check this, these two things. What the only re really card that I dislike is the moon here because I really want to know what are those secrets here we are talking about so let's see what is this moon for Capricorn what is this moon for Capricorn constellation reversed What's going on, guys? Are you sad? You're sad over something? Something fell through? This can mean several things. Feelings of powerlessness, maybe financial loss. Service? Uh-huh. Here we are. This is a sweetheart reversed. So, is there somebody in your life that... So this would be a really good card if it's upright. This kind of like would talk about freshness and start and recovery. But this could be secrets of some kind or somebody who is Pisces, of course. Uh, it's kind of really interesting because this king is Pisces as well. So generally, you know, I don't talk about horoscope signs but uh, unless it is your own sign but like this is like i'm in double message and for some reason i kind of feel i have to mention it so if this is not a pisces you're dealing with in your life if you're dealing with a pisces then the energy is going to be kind of really interesting because this person somehow is present but without being present sort of like maybe in your thoughts but not exactly and this could be like i mean trying to regain control over some situation now if this is not pisces then um this is talking about your partner it's talking about trying to basically console yourself over certain things and trying to figure out the ways to go about that i also want to see the screen of pentacles because that's you and also knight of pentacles that has this pretty pretty goat over here it's the queen of pentacles again it was something thoughtless or something thoughtless might happen in a very very near future this could be even you because like when queen of um, pentacles reverses then instead of being resourceful she becomes self-absorbed this is kind of like shopaholic this is somebody who kind of don't care for the others everything like prototype like opposite of what queen of pentacles is upright like caring generous reliable good with money now it's the opposite it could be that you'll be going on a shopping spree and kind of like not much and and that kind of would make sense kind of you know what your finances i would say these two weeks let me just get one more card over there queen of three i'm letting you spend money on the other people this can also mean that you have lost your spouse or there maybe there's a third person involved over there and maybe kind of like you decided to step out or something like this so let's see the emperor what are you capricorns building let's see the emperor what is the emperor here for in capricorns 
reading. Look, there you go. You kind of like have to figure out constants in your life. You guys are really slow moving earth sign, right? And so Taurus is the fastest from the earth signs. Then you have the Virgo in the middle and you're the slowest. So this is basically where is this getting to like extremely slow motion. But at the same time, you see their elements. You see like they're like all these stones around her. And this is the goal to build something like monumental. And that kind of like would really come to Emperor. So you kind of like actually have have high goals, I would say. Now we have quite a bit. La falseness reversed. Soldier reversed, wedding reversed, and child. Hmm. So you you're stopping you're stopping lying to yourself. And there are some kind of secrets that might be coming out. So do you have a child with somebody you're not married to? Because you see the child is up, wedding is down secret child or something that you're lying to yourself about the child or maybe you're kind of uh, correcting something with your child interesting so let's see lastly that knight of pentacles what is that knight of pentacles for okay this one jumped out first Okay, so there is still some kind of sadness or something. Something, the ship have sailed out, right? So you may be feeling to some extent, well, you know, certain things are kind of gone. But even though, you see, her rose is down and she's still having a letter in her hand, the tree still signifies the growth. It just has to be kind of like positioning has to happen. And you still actually have firm uh, grounds to do that. It just kind of like is asking to literally lift the whale. You see, she wants to look at the ship, but he has to lift the whale and actually life is around it. Thief and despair. Is this somebody who is long distance? Or also something from the past? There is some kind of issues with jealousy or, or feeling that something has been taken away from you. These are in your hopes and fears. So you obviously are hoping to move forward. You are actually longing for somebody, I would say. Their sides card. But at the same time, you're fearing that these kind of things are not really workable and there is like a significant amount of jealousy here involved somebody's jealousy doesn't have to be yours so let me just quickly check this eight of pentacles uh-huh letter some kind of communication it's a bit too much okay melancholy again you guys kind of like have this melancholy going on for a while by the way this can also talk about it's about a young woman guys somebody who is no longer there like or it could be your child so this is asking of you to pay attention to some details it looks like it's uh, this is telling me this is a last call guys last call for something last call for something to deal with so Take your chance of dealing with something which it's telling you, you're thinking, okay, I need to kind of like certain, certain things. I need to become a better woman or better man. Because these details that are slipping here are related to a person. This young woman can be literally a young woman. That can be a, a, a child, female child, male child, doesn't matter. And maybe you're waiting for some kind of news or you'll be getting some kind of news, maybe something disappointing, but you will be definitely asked to react. When you receive a letter, you're basically asked to respond back because this is not, even though you did have service here, did you not? Yeah, you did have. You see, this kind of like would be almost like communication with just one one kind of like open, like close-ended. You're just on the receiver end 
and kind of like maybe here you felt that somebody was just expecting a royal treatment and things kind of like fell through but to some extent it might be also guys a third person is included here somehow that third person is extremely significant it also tells me there's something from the past coming to the surface some secrets definitely had, had secrets there we had secrets here something is clearing out this period of time but the good news is that you know those little joyous times with your friends so this is something to kind of really focus to because it looks like you're rebuilding yourself you're kind of like feeling this last call oh, just get one card for this ten of pentacles because you came from a pretty kind of like happy past so let's see what this was look these two cards mirror each other and plus they're like mirroring each other over here as well so something in your home life has been redefined the things are not as they were before and they have to do with your partner the merchant can go both ways it can be good could be a bad thing right so it's kind of like pushing things out and seeing what's going to come back to you and then waiting for the results over here and this is a fear i think that's the fear that see because that's the answer to this something is slowly revolving like right this goat is not in any hurry so here it is when is this going to come back you see he's sending those ships she is waiting for them so yeah you guys need to kind of start looking at things from a different perspective because that's what's going to propel you and what i really like about this reading that you are truly truly trying to look deep deep inside of yourself you're really digging deep and and trying it looks like you're even trying in spite of possibly addictions maybe you're even addressing addiction over here this by the way uh okay so horoscope signs i told you see pisces uh so this could be you and what kind of person you want to become this could be an aries as well and you might be also dealing with another earth sign so capricorn i hope this kind of helped and also you guys had two months reading like somewhere toward the end of august so september reading is already out for you so take a look and actually i think you got two readings did you not yeah i think you did you got august september and then september which i did by mistake but it kind of like um resonates with the previous one as well so take a look or wait until the end of this video and then click on these two videos that will be provided in the links i wish you all the best guys and i love to see your comments your comments are always welcome and yeah join the facebook um subscribe like and until next time i love you